everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey guys, Cindy Utter here with my artsy endeavors. All right, I have got lots of stuff I want to show you guys, and I want to. Um, there's some things I want to swatch and actually see what they look like. Um, I went into Ollie's the other day and they had these glue, this just plain clear school glue. <laughs> I have to tell you a funny story. She rang one up. It came up $99.20. <laughs> I told her, I said, this glue should be made of pure gold. <laughs> but anyways, they were only 99 cents. So I diversed on that. All right, what I've got, this is my journal. I don't know if I've showed you guys this journal before. This is where I go if I just want to play around, um, just mess around with things. It's it's my playground, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find... I had a page in here where I swatched the, um, tw the 12 shades of gray. I did right here. So now what I'm going to do, um, I've got some other paints here that I just had to pick up and have to try. And I also have some markers here I want to try um, and crayons. See, I just had fun at Ollie's, so I had to try these out. Let's start out with these. Let's start out with these Bic liners. These are bright liners. They're highlighters. Ugh. I paid $2.99 for them at Ollie's. It says they won't dry out, and it's a bright liner grip, it says. It's a highlighter. Okay. Super bright fluorescent inks, ergonomic design, chisel tip allows two line widths. Broad line for highlighting and fine line for underlining. So we're going to play with these. I want to see what they do. Okay, that's a very, um, very, very light blue. Let me bring you guys in. Whoops, wrong way. Sorry, guys. Don't want to make you see sexy. See how light that is? <clears throat> that's just really, really, really light. All right, so that's a light blue. Uh, they don't dry right away. Huh, interesting. Alright, let's look at the green. I like the way they feel in the hand. That's really cool. Well, that's a lot brighter. And you can do your fine lines also. Okay. Pink. Again, very, very light. It's almost like it's not real inky which is fine I mean to do just like a pink hue over top of something that'd be fun and then this one looks really cool oh that's a bright yeah this one I like this is a bright fluorescent yellow so that's really cool so I wanted to show you guys these honestly I could do without those two I like these two so you know 50 50 that works all right then I saw these little um Neon markers and washable gel markers, and they're minis. They were $1.79 a piece, and these just intrigued me as well. And these are by Crayola. Ugh. Oh my gosh, look how tiny. Oh wow. Travel kit. Guess where these are going? Look how tiny they are. You have to put that on so you have something to. Ooh. I love the way they write. <gasps> These are really cool. Oops, get back here. Oh, I love them. Yep, these are definitely going to go in my travel kit. I think we have two of the same color. That looks like... Yeah, you do. There's... Well, these blues. These blues are the same color too. Yeah, these blues are the same color. So I'm not sure why, but you have two blues and two pinks. Um, red one. Oh, these are really neat. Orange. Purple. Whoops, get back there. These are really, really cool. Oops, I just got purple on that one. And green. Love these! Which, these are the neons. So, Mighty Marks. Little tiny. 
um, markers. These are really cool. These will end up going into um, a travel kit for me because uh, it's great to have something small like this with all these colors. Yeah. Okay, that was worth $1.79. <laughs> ah, can't get them all back in there, but I will. All right, then we have these other ones, these Mighty Marks Gel. I wonder if these are all the same thing. Well, these look a little bit different. Love it. Yeah, these are all going to end up in my travel kit. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Yes, yes, yes. So anyways, I just want to come on and show you guys these because I figured what the heck. Um, there's also some paints here I'm going to show to you. Let's see what else we've got here. Pink and orange. Or red and orange, I should say. Looks more pink on the cover. A white. This must be a blender. Doesn't say. Oh, well, it says white, so it's supposed to be white. Um, I don't see anything coming out of the white. So, bye bye. That one's a cool pink. Purple. Wow, these are really neat. That white is worthless, so it's going in the garbage. All right, so these are the mini gels. Um, and like I said, these are called Mighty Marks. We have neons and then the gels. So these are really cool. They're going to end up going into a um, pouch for travel. All right, so there's those two. And then I saw these, and I was like, i got to have them, just because of the colors. <clears throat> it's a Crayola for the Minions, and it's called Gone Batty. Oh, and they're broken. Oh, no. I should have opened the box when I was there. Oh, look. Bummer. Bummer. And this was the only box there, so it wouldn't have mattered. But anyways, um, yeah. Oh, there we go. A black one. Cool. Of course, white one. We have a blue Oh, that's like a real deep navy blue. Um, ochre yellow. Pretty purple. That's like a reddish orange. A gray. And a light purple. Cool. So these are going to go in my crayons. And that box, I'm actually going to use this part of it. These were only 59 cents, so I'm not really, you know worried about the fact that the tips are broken that's no big deal so these are just crayons that are going to go in my crayon box so that's those now that's the stuff i picked up at um ollie's now i want to show you these paints and teresa teresa sim i believe is who showed me the or i saw these so i decided that i wanted to pick them up and I was at Michael's yesterday and I asked them about these paints and they told me that they didn't have them and I said now wait a minute I know you do so these are called the color shift paints and what they do is they they're metallic but they the color actually shifts from one to another let me get these all open and I'll be right back all right, so I've got them all open. Um, as I was saying, I got these at Michael's, and I picked up, there's three, six, seven, eight, nine of them, okay? Um, they had a couple more there, but they were like in the black, the gray, the silver type of spectrum, and I just wasn't interested in those. If you go to Michael's and you look in the paint section uh, over by the craft paints and they don't have them there, they actually have what's a seasonal department, which is things they normally get in for a little while and then they go. Right now, where I found these was sitting in that seasonal department. They are resetting the paint department, so eventually these will go over there. So if you go to Michael's and I ask, and they said, no, we don't have them. Well, then I was wandering around the store, and guess what I found? So, um, oh, don't tell me they're all sealed. No, they're not. Okay. So the first one I'm going to start out with is, this is called Orange Flash. 
And basically, I just I want to see what these do. Okay, I can tell you this one's not real opaque. It's a gloss finish. And when you turn it um, to the light, I don't know if you guys can see this. Oops, stuff fell out of the back of my book. See it? It goes from orange to like an orangish pink. So that's actually really cool. I like that color. All right, I got more than enough on there. Um, get my rag here. So that one I like. I'm going to write the colors next to these. Do, 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 do. Maybe if as soon as I find a pan. This is Orange Flash. And these are called Color Shift. These are 12 shades of gray. one. Whoops! Guess what? <laughs> I have to glue my handle back on. <laughs> All right, I'll put that one aside. Let's find another one. I wonder if this one's gonna fall off. Nope. Okay, so the next one is, this one is Pink Flash. I don't want to put as much. They're not real opaque. Okay, that's the first thing I'm I'm noticing. This is pink flash. Now this one is pink, and then it goes to like a purple. That's kind of cool. You know, I should instead of dumping this off, I should be putting this in a book. So let me do that. This is something else I'll show you another time. Um, but right now I'm going to use this book to put stuff into. Alright. So there's the pink flash. Alright, let's do the purple. Ooh, I like. Ooh, I like it. And the purple goes to blue. It's a bluish purple. I'm curious what this does. Let me do the purple and the pink together. Just goes to a darker purple. Very cool. And I'm just going to wipe this paint off over here because there's no sense wasting it. Um, these are like $3.99 a piece. I'll be right back. My phone's ringing. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. So now, move these out of my way. Get out of my way. All right. Let's take the blue. This says blue. They're all called flash, apparently. So this is the blue flash. Come on. Come on. Alright, so this is the pink, purple, blue, and orange. Alright, so here's the blue. God, these are cool, cool colors. Now what I'm wondering about is... Will they flash... Not as much. So um, what I did is I just wanted to see if it would flash uh, with a, a lighter coat. Um, and no, not really. It just kind of looks metallic. Well, it does flash a little bit. It goes from a, like an ocean green to a blue. See it right there? Ha <laughs> ha! These are cool. All right, let's put this down. Wash it up a little bit. And let's go to another one. All right, let's take the green. Actually, this one says aqua. Got lots of aqua. I like that. 
That's really cool. That's really, really, really cool. So, the aqua goes from green to flashing blue. Okay, there it's green. See the blue? It flashes blue. This is the purple down here, so awesome. Love it. You know what? I'm going to take these and spread them all out just because I can. Do, do, do. Okay, they seem to dry pretty quick, which is good. <laughs> all right. All right, so we're going to go from that one. Let's go to this one, which is green flash. That's black flash. Green, red, and yellow. We have green, red, yellow, and black left. So here's the green. These are cheap brushes, can you tell? I can. Um, because I have... My hands are shaking, sorry. Good, cool. So here's the green. It kind of goes just to a darker green. Maybe a yellow, greenish yellow. It goes to like a greenish yellow. I know you're probably intrigued about this book I've got over here um, that I'm putting this leftover paint on. And like I said, that'll be coming up in a different video. Okay, let's do yellow. What is the yellow gonna shift to? Honestly, well, I don't know. It looks yellow and yellow to me, so I'm not sure. Might as well just bring this on out. Bring the green. Now, what I want to try with some of these is I want to see if. Um, yeah, let's just color that yellow right there. I want to see if I put some of this with regular paint what will happen. So I'm going to be trying that here in a minute. All right, let's go to red. This one is the red. Come on. Uh, red to purple, it looks like. Looks like it's got a purplish hue to it. So it's red to purple. Alright, which is cool. Just gonna bring that on out. Red to purple. Okay. And now we're gonna do black. Oops, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> now I have two of them. <laughs> ah, that's funny. See, that one's already been glued before. All right, so we got two of them. I gotta put some E6000 on those. Let's get another paintbrush. Let's try this one. This one's a Nicole. We'll try this one next. Oops, got water on there. Oh, look, cool. All right, so, and this is the black flash. Ooh, it looks kind of like, um, uh, kind of like it's got gold in it. I like that. Look at this. I don't know if you can see how it turns like a gold. It's really cool. That's actually a really cool black. I like that. 
I'm just going to put this all along the bottom here. It's almost like it has gold flake in it is what it looks like. Let me see if I can get you to see that. See the gold in it? It looks like it's got gold flake in it. That's really cool. That is really, really, really cool. I like that. I like it. That's awesome. All right, so that's just the color shift paints um, by themselves. So there they are. Cool. Now let me dry this up real quick, and then I'm going to go to another page, and I'm going to take some of these color shift colors, and I'm going to put them in with other paints, just plain old craft paints, um, like these that I have here, Apple Barrel, I've got some Americana, just whatever. I just want to play with them a little bit and see what else we can do. Actually, you know what? Let me dry this real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so that's pretty well dry. I'm just going to go on this page here. And what I'm going to do is I want to take some regular purple. I'm going to take some blue. And I'm going to take some pink. All right, so here's my regular colors. These are just um, folk art, deco art, and I'm sorry, Apple Barrel and Deco Art paints. These are just plain craft paints. You can get them in any Michaels, Joanne's, I see more, that sort of thing. All right, so now for the purple, I am going to add this Color Shift Purple Flash. You know, what? I'm going to put it right on top of it. And then for the blue, I'm going to use the blue. And then for the pink, I'm going to use the pink. And let's see what happens. Come in. All right. So what do I do with my brush? I had it here. Here it is. If I can get all that black out of there. No, let's try a different brush. I only have 1,200 of them here. Um, all right, so let's start with the purple. I want to see what it will do, if it will. Actually give it the color shift properties. Okay, there it is with just the plain purple. A little bit, not a whole lot. Now it might be the right ratio of paint I have because I have quite a bit of the other paint and a little of the color shift. So let's add a little bit more of the color shift. Now we got lots more. <laughs> I'm gonna have enough paint on this page for three canvases. <laughs> All right, so actually, if you take your color shift and you put it down over top of your regular paint, put the paint on here. This is crazy, Cindy. Crazy, it's crazy. Let's find another page in here. Uh, don't mind me. All right, that looks like a good page. Let's go with this one. I'm just going to get some of this paint off this page because it's crazy. All right. And I am just wiping it off onto another book over here. See? Can you see it? Just wiping it off. All right. So... So, yeah. I mean, I put the purple or the pink with the with the color shift it looks kind of cool um, you can see a little bit of the pink underneath which is good all right so there's one that's just really cool I like this paint but then again 
as you guys know, I like all paint. <laughs> I'm a paint addict. All right, next we have the blues. Now, I don't know if I put enough of the blue on here or not. I'm going to try it and see. That blue is almost like a seafoam green. All right, so um, maybe it's because of what I did by putting the other blue under it. But I don't think so. It's more of a seafoam green. I like it. Um, same thing. I can see, you know, the little bit of the other blue, but it's not really, I mean, it's shimmery. It's got a gloss finish, but it's different. It's, eh, okay. All right, let me, so I think so far what I'm learning is, um, I can use the color shift property or the color shift paint with other paints but I think I'm liking it better alone. All right, let's try the pink. Again, this I've got more of this kind of paint. Put on my palette. Okay, now let's see what this does. And I'm painting this out because I'll just end up doing something on this page. And this paint actually eats right up the um, the shimmer. So where are we at? Pink. You know what? I'm going to put a little bit of the red in here and let's see what happens. Red. Red. It's red. It turns to orange. So it turns the pink to like an orange, of course. Um, again, the color shift, it's okay. And with the plain, with the plain paint, bleh, plain paints. <clears throat> but I'm thinking that I like it better by itself. Very cool. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. All right, so let me give you just a second. I wanna get rid of this paint over here, along with what I put on my palette. Do, do, do. I know you guys can't see this, but sorry, I'm just, you know how you have a book and you wipe off all your excess stuff in it. That's what I'm doing over here. All right, so here's the pink normal and then you've got your shimmer shine on it. Shimmer shine, why am I calling it shimmer shine? Color shift. <laughs> so interesting. Um, like I said, I just wanted to share this fun with you guys because I knew I was gonna be sitting here playing and I figured why not turn the camera on so here it is color shift paint and i really like that black um you know a couple of them and the orange and i like the blue the green was okay the yellow i like the pink i like the pink and red and purple of course um very interesting and then we also did our little uh gelato or not gelatos um gel crayons crayola crayons that kind of stuff here so that was really cool too all right, so I'm going to set this aside to dry because I have a couple more things I want to show you guys. Um, I'm just going to set that there for right now and hope it doesn't fall. All right, this book I'm going to show on a totally separate video. But since we're here, I want to show you what else I found um, the other day. We have a reuse center um, over in Ithaca. And <clears throat> I always go look in their... Um, office supply area. Well, first of all, I found these really cool envelopes. Whoops, that one I just ripped. No big deal, because I'm going to be using them probably in my journal. 
The only thing I liked is that they have this design on them. Aren't they cool? So I got a bunch of those. Well, what was there? One, two, well, there's a white one, three, four, five of them. And then I found these envelopes. Now this one, um, this one looks pretty beat up, so I'm going to end up using this in my journal. But if you get Happy Mail from me, you may end up getting one of these envelopes. It says, Mr. Postman, don't delay. This goes to someone nice today. And it says on the back to be continued. And there's all of these little um, di little people. And it says, I always make a few mistakes, but leave some blots like these. I never learned no better, so you'll have to excuse it, please. Um, no use looking. There ain't no check enclosed. Sure hope you like this paper that I'm writing you on. Only 20 more installments, and I'll have it paid for, too. <laughs> Hi there. Feel the quality. Well, the one I sent Aunt Jessie sure turned out a darn worse sight. If you think this letter's messy and my writing makes you curse, plop. Everyone says hello. The pig, the mice, the canary. Looks like it says tea mites. Rat and the cats. <laughs> but there, I just thought they were really cool. Isn't that a really cool envelope? I th thought it was awesome. So these are the envelopes. They have them in green and they have them in blue. And um, I paid 10 cents for these, which I thought was, I'll pay 10 cents, not a problem. Now these I found, these are actually from the 60s, I believe. These two I'm not sure, but the two on the bottom are definitely from the 60s. So it, it's just these little notepads. I paid a quarter a piece, not $1.19. Says you're always on my mind. And then it has this really cool paper in it. And it says, You've brought me out of my shell. Let's horse around. Um, I've got the hots for you. You give me strength to carry on. It's more than puppy love. You really grab me. And I just thought these were the let's keep in touch. I love you a whole bunch. Um, your let your love makes me high garbage um my love for you is enormous i thought these were just cool as crap so here's one instant excuses why i haven't written i've been very very busy <laughs> handy little excuses for people who love to put off writing well look what it is <laughs> i love them they're so funny instant excuses why i haven't written part one part two part three <laughs> And they just keep going. Look at this. Part 11. <laughs> These are just so funny. And then you have blank note paper in the back. So part one. Dear so-and-so, I really meant to write sooner than this, but the fact is, I'm lazy, I'm a rotten person, I'd rather get them than send them. I lost your dress, I lost your mind, I just woke up from New Year's Eve party. Um, I've also been involved with homework, meals, church work, big deals, sleeping, big dreams, fig newtons, and fig leaves. And of course, I spend a lot of time getting lost, getting sober, mending fences, mending socks, patching up old underwear, looking for my head, winding my watch, on the road, or on the hopper. <laughs> but I do spend a lot of time thinking about you, our friendship, writing, me, lima beans, your problems, dirty things, your sneakers, excuses and alibis, our future or our behinds. <laughs> oh my God. And I want you to know I really feel guilty, bad, sorry, fat, constipated, nerdy, and silly. <laughs> and I promise I'll do better. You the moon, you nothing. I'll remember you always to forget my promises and some new excuses soon. You know you can count on me too. Be true, be slow, stretch the truth, stretch my waistline. Be me, let you down, muddle along, mean well. Thanks for putting up with me, your friend blank. I thought these were just hilarious. So um, don't be surprised if you get one in the mail. Um, <laughs> they're just too funny. All right, this one, um, this one is 1982. So this one, these two I would bet you are from the 80s. See, and I paid 25 cents a piece for them. All right, this one is from 1965, and it's Paula Presents Say It With Music. And I just thought these were cool. Hi, to a friend who can't be beat. Um, this one up here. Special request, drop me a note sometime. 
greetings from one of your high-stepping friends. And they just have all these little cartoonish uh, characters in them. Hi from one of your talented friends. <laughs> I'm singing the blues because you haven't written. I just thought these were fantastic. Now, these, um, I'm not sure. I may have to... I don't know if I'm going to make something out of these to send people out. Maybe little postcards or something. I don't know. But I just thought these were fantastic. And then here's this one. And it's called That's Class. And this one's from 1970. <laughs> and look at these. These girls are... Darn it. Come back here. These girls are so funny. If you can be good-natured when your neighbors ah, are having a totally shameful and disgusting weekend party to which you weren't invited, that's class. <laughs> uh, if you can keep your composure when you learn that the nutty broad who put a frog in the boss's martini at last week's office party was you, that's class. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's the neighbors again. So how cool is this? If you can be unaffected when a sexy French artist invites you up to show his etchings and he shows you his etchings, that's class. <laughs> oh my God. If you can be cool and casual when you're standing on a street corner waiting for a friend and a lecherous old man walks up to you and says, how much? <laughs> that's class. I just, I, I got to tell you, these just cracked me up yesterday, checking them out. So, um, I think my whole point to this part of this video is um, check out your reuse centers or your uh, recycle centers and don't forget to look in the office supplies. I'm probably um, preaching to the choir here, but... I mean, these are really cool. What a find. You know, I paid a dollar and ten cents for this. So it's just really cool, and I can't wait to play around with them. All right. That's all I'm going to talk about on this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. As always, thanks so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. I'm almost at 2,000 subscriptions. I'm just, I, I can't seem to get out of the 1960s. <laughs> So, um, you know, if you have any friends that might want to check out some of these videos, definitely um, share my link with them, and, and hopefully they'll become a subscriber as well. All right? So I hope you guys have an awesome day. As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!